Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. So today I want to teach you a super cool gambling style effect that you can incorporate in your magic routine. So let's say that you are a magician and you're performing and after you've performed a few tricks, you want to transition to uh, a portion of the show that it is more oriented towards gambling, sleight of hand and card cheating and stuff like that. And I have the perfect gambling effect that you can start using and incorporate into your routine. So I'll show you the trick first and then after that, I'll teach you how it's done, all right? Let me ask you a question. Have you ever heard the term card mechanic? No? Well, maybe you've heard the term card cheat. Maybe you've heard that one. Oh, that one, yes, you have. Well, a card mechanic is just a fancy way of saying card cheat. And today I want to do precisely that. I want to show you one of the very popular techniques that card mechanics use when they're playing cards. That way they can always have the advantage to win at a card game because they're dealing themselves a very strong hand. I've put the four kings here on the bottom of the deck and I want to show you one of their most famous techniques. Notice. This is what he would do. He's gonna deal out to a five-handed game of poker, and when it comes to his hand, he's actually going to deal from the bottom where the kings have been hidden. See, nobody else knows this, but he just continues to deal, and then when it comes to his turn, he'll deal a king off the bottom. He deals to everyone, and notice, once again, he's gonna reach underneath the deck, pull out a king, and put it in his hand. That way he makes sure that everybody receives cards that are inferior to his because he has managed to secure the four kings into his poker hand. All right, now what's the problem with this? Well, the problem with this is that this is a faulty technique. You can always see the difference when a person deals from the top or when a person deals from the bottom. You can always see that. It doesn't matter how good they are, you can always catch them, you can always see that. So a card cheat needs to be far more efficient. What you wanna do is that you want to be able to shuffle the cards, is that you want to shuffle the cards in such a manner, whereas you do not have to deal from the bottom. You don't have to do what's known as a false deal. But that takes practice and you have to be very efficient in order to be able to do that. Now, I've given the deck a few shuffles and I want you to see that all the deals are gonna be very clean, very fair. All of them are from the top. Can you see anything different in my grip? Can you see anything different on the way that I'm dealing each single card? Can you notice that every single card from the other players and mine, they all come from the top. Nothing fishy, nothing weird, nothing out of the ordinary with my deals. However, if you notice, I have in fact been able to deal myself those kings. But you know what? Any card cheat can do that. Any card cheat can take the four kings, put them at the bottom of the deck, reposition them, control them and put them in their hands. Anybody can do that. But you know what an expert card cheat will do? He knows that he's not gonna win with four kings. And for that, he, ca he wants to have a lock on the game by getting the four aces instead of the four kings. And that is how a real expert does it. Demonstration. All right guys, hope you enjoyed that effect. Now, time to teach you how it's done you're gonna need a slight setup, not much. You can do this on the fly if you want to, but it's a lot faster and a lot more comfortable if you have a little setup in the beginning, all right? So the setup is this, you wanna take the four aces and you want to put those four aces on top of the deck. Now you could of course have no setup and simply do a spread call where you're calling those aces to the top. You could do that whilst you're in the process of finding the four kings, all right? So this is how it's gonna go. You either call the four aces to the top as you spread 
finding the kings and secretly putting the aces on top, or you can prepare ahead of time and put the four aces on top and then tell your spectators that you're going to find the four kings. Now I start with the four aces on top and I simply give the deck a false overhand shuffle. Okay, you all know this false overhand shuffle. You jog a card in and you shuffle off. After that, you come in to the break and then you shuffle off until you get to the break. That way, all the cards get mixed except the four aces, which are still controlled to the top of the deck. All right, so that will tell the spectators that you have shuffled the deck. Now you proceed to spread to find those four kings. As you spread to find the kings, you talk to the spectators, talking to them about what a card mechanic or a card cheat is, and as you find those kings, you simply move them to the bottom of the deck. At this time, you could also be calling the aces to the top. Once you have the four kings on the bottom of the deck, you simply close the spread and you tell them, look, I placed the four kings on the bottom of the deck and I want to show you a technique that card cheats and card mechanics use. Now, you're gonna deal out and what you're gonna do is that as you deal, the first card that you're gonna be dealing, let's put them face up so that you can see what's going on first card that you're gonna deal in each one of the hands is gonna be an ace. So each of the first four hands gets an ace. And now when it comes to your hand, be very obvious that you're bottom dealing. Now, if you are an exceptional, invisible bottom dealer, don't do that today. The idea of this is to hit them at the end with a change. You're gonna change kings for aces. So you need to be very obvious and very um, sloppy with the bottom deals, all right? Once again, you deal to everyone from the top, but then very obviously you deal to yourself from the bottom, all right? And let them see that, let them see that. Once again, deal again, deal yourself from the bottom. Again, you do another round, you deal yourself from the bottom. So they can see that you're dealing from the bottom, that you're putting the kings on the bottom. Remember, you are exposing a technique here. You're exposing what a bottom dealer does and how bottom dealing works in the contest of card cheating. Now, you grab your four kings and your one indifferent card and you show your spectators. Look, you see? Just deal the, uh, the kings, deal the kings from the bottom. Boom, that's it. Now, here comes the switch part. Leave the kings down here and pick up these cards any order you want, whatever order, right to left, left to right, or you can pile them one on top of the other from the outer sides all the way into the center. Pick them up any way you want. Do not change their orders. That is the key. As you pick them up, you want to keep those aces on the bottom. Never picking them up this way because you're you're gonna flash the aces. So pick them up, never change the order. Now, what you have here is the four aces automatically stacked for a five-handed game of poker. You're gonna take this and you're gonna put it on top of the deck. Here, you have your four kings plus an indifferent card. Without changing the order of your hand, you save this for last and you drop it on top of the deck. Now you're all set. You will receive the four aces and one king when you deal out. So now do another false overhand shuffle that controls the top stock. And after you do that, you proceed to deal. Now notice because the aces are face up, you're gonna see the action occurring. So I'm gonna deal out to each one of the players and I'm going to receive a king. I deal out another round, and this time I get an ace. But notice that the king was the first card I dealt myself. The ace comes second. Remember, it's a five-handed draw poker. I continue to deal very slowly, very, very slowly, very obvious that nothing fishy is happening. 
and emphasizing on the spectators the difference between the deal when I was dealing from the bottom and the difference in the deal now. Okay? Oh, well, that's six cards. Hold on. Now, pick everything up. Doesn't matter how you pick it up. Remember, you're done. By this time, you're done. Now, what you're going to have is the first card that you dealt was a king because that was the last card you put on top of the packet. Your hand. But underneath this king are the four aces that originally were on top of the deck secretly from your spectators. So now you're going to hit them hard with the change. You bring all the cards in, you lift them up, square them, and let them see that there is a king. They automatically will think that you have dealt yourself the four kings because they're seeing a king here and they've always seen, a, seen kings ever since the effect started. But now you take it up another level and you tell them, hey, you know what? Any card cheat can do that. But the best, the really good ones, the really, really good and talented card cheats, they're not going to control the four kings. They're going to control a better hand, the four aces. And when you spread out the cards, they can now see the four aces. And the indifferent card is now the king. You put the king back on the packet and you emphasize the four aces. And it's definitely a simple effect that's gambling theme that you can do. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. Click the bell notification, like the video, helps out a lot. Comment any questions down below. And don't forget that I publish new content on gambling sleight of hand and card cheating and tutorials every single week. Catch you next time.